Hey guys, today we are going to be reviewing surface area. So I have written out all of the formulas here for you, but remember on your star test, you will need to look at your formula chart for the formulas. Another note about surface area is you want to shade and draw out the base. So drawing out the base on your scratch sheet of paper will be very helpful in finding P and B. Since those are such important parts of the surface area formula. So I would definitely shade and draw out your base to help you find P and B for surface area. So let's start with cylinders. We just need the radius and the height to find our surface area in cylinders. Lateral surface area of a cylinder is 2 pi r h and total is 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r squared. So number one says find the lateral surface area of the cylinder. So first thing I'm going to do is write out my formula. We're dealing with lateral surface area. So it is 2 pi r h. And I'm going to shade my bases, my circular bases, and then that helps me identify my height, which is the distance between the two bases. So radius, I'll find that in a minute. I just circled my height. It is 6.3. My radius is going to be 6.8 divided by 2 since that's the diameter. So I'm going to do 6.8 divided by 2 to get my radius, which is 3.4. So to find the lateral surface area, I'll do 2 times pi times the radius of 3.4 times the height of 6.3. And 2 times pi times 3.4 times 6.3 is 134 point, rounded to the nearest tenth, that would be 6 and we'll do centimeters squared for surface area. Okay, number two is asking us to find the total surface area of the cylinder. So first thing I'm gonna do is write out the total surface area of a cylinder formula, which is two pi r h plus two pi r squared. And I'm going to shade my circular bases and my height is the distance between the two bases, so 12, even though it's not really a vertical or looks like a height this time. That's still my height because it's the distance between my two bases. So I need two things to find the total surface area. I need the radius, which is 4, and I need the height, which is 12. And now I'm just going to plug into my formula. The total surface area will be 2 pi times the radius of 4 times the height of 12 plus 2 pi times my radius of 4 squared. And now I'm going to type this into my calculator very slowly because I want to make sure I do it correctly. On your star test, you have plenty of time. I would uh, double check it by typing it in twice. So we're going to do 2 pi times the radius of 4 times the height of 12 plus 2 pi times the radius of 4 squared. And I'm just going to double check that I typed it incorrectly. Looks like I did. So my total surface area rounded to the nearest tenth would be 402.1 inches squared for total surface area of this cylinder. Okay, now we're going to look at rectangular prisms. So rectangular prism to find the lateral surface area, we do perimeter of the base times the height, which is the distance between the two bases. And for total surface area, we do the same thing, just add two times the area of the base. So this is why it's really important to draw out your base so that you can correctly find the perimeter and the area of it. So let's look at number three. It says find the lateral surface area of the rectangular prism. Use the shaded faces as the basis. So I'm going to start by writing my lateral surface area formula, which is pH. So I'm going to need perimeter of the base 
and height of the prism. So they've already shaded my bases for me. So I can tell that 21 is that distance connecting my bases. So that's the height. And now I'm going to draw out my rectangular base. It has sides of eight and six. And now it's really easy to find the perimeter of that rectangle. I just add eight plus six plus eight plus six. So to find the perimeter, we did eight plus six plus eight plus six, and we got 28. So to find the surface area, I'll do perimeter times height, which is just 28 times 21. And 28 times 21 is 588 meters squared. Okay, let's look at number four. It says find the total surface area of the rectangular prism. So rectangular prisms, if they don't have the bases shaded, you can choose any of the opposite parallel faces to use as the bases. So I'm just gonna use the bottom and the top as my bases. And then here is my height. My height will be seven and a half. So I'm finding total surface area, which is perimeter of the base times the height plus two times the area of the base. So I'll need perimeter of the base. I'll need height, which I already circled at seven and a half. I'm gonna put 7.5. That'll be much easier to work with with my calculator. And then capital B will be area of the base. So let's draw out our base to make it easier to find perimeter and area of. It is a 12 by nine rectangle. So to find the perimeter, I'll do 12 plus nine plus 12 plus nine. So the perimeter will be 12 plus nine plus 12 plus nine, which is 42. So there is perimeter. I already have the height, now I need to find capital B, which is the area of this base that I drew out. So I'll do nine times 12 to find the area of that rectangular base, which is 108. And now I can plug into the formula. Perimeter of the base was 42 times the height was seven and a half in, or 7.5 plus two times the area of the base is 108. So 42 times 7.5 plus two times 108 is 531. So the total surface area of that rectangular prism is 531 yards squared. Okay, surface area of triangular prisms is very similar. I need to find the perimeter of the base, multiply it by the height, which is the distance between the bases for lateral surface area. And then for total surface area, we just add two times the area of the base on to the lateral surface area. And we are finding the area of a triangle, which remember is one half times the base times the height of the triangle. So let's look at number five. It says find the lateral surface area of the triangular prism. So I'll just be doing perimeter times height. So I'll need perimeter of the base and I'll multiply it by the height. Let's shade the bases in a triangular prism. Your bases are always the triangles, even if you wouldn't really think of that as the base since it's not sitting on those. Your triangles are your bases and that makes the distance between those triangles three. So my height is three. Okay, now I'm gonna draw out my base. There's my triangular base. It has sides of nine and 10 and 13.5. So to find the perimeter, I'll do nine plus 10 plus 13.5. And the perimeter of nine plus 10 plus 13.5 is 32.5. So to find the surface area, I'll do 32.5 times three. 
and 32.5 times 3. So the surface area of this triangular prism is 97.5 centimeters squared. All right, let's look at number six. It says find the total surface area of the triangular prism. So we're gonna be dealing with the formula surface area equals pH plus 2B. So I will need the perimeter of the base, I'll need the height of the prism and the area of the base. So let's identify the bases and the height. The bases are the triangles. And the height is the distance between them, which is 30. So my height is 30. And now I'm gonna draw out this triangular base to help me find the perimeter and the area of it. So these two sides are 13, and then the base of it is 10, and then it looks like I have a height of 12 for my base. So to find the perimeter, I'll just do 13 plus 13 plus 10. 13 plus 13 is 26, plus 10 is 36. So my perimeter is 36. And then to find the area of this triangle for capital B, I'll do one half times the base of the triangle is 10 times the height is 12. 10 times 12 is 120 and half of 120 is 60. So now I have P, H, and B. So I can plug into the surface area formula. I will do 36 for the perimeter times the height of 30 plus two times the area of the base is 60. So 36 times 30 plus two times 60 is 1200. So the surface area of this triangular prism is 1200 inches squared. Okay, problem solving with surface area. We will want to identify what we're given, substitute it into the formula, and then solve for the missing variable if they're not just asking us to find surface area. So number seven says a new phone comes packaged in a box shaped like a rectangular prism. The base of the box measures three inches by seven inches. The total surface area of the box is 142 square inches. What is the height of the box? So they are, they gave us the total surface area formula. So I'm going to go ahead and write that down because that's the formula that we're dealing with. Perimeter times height plus two times the area of the base. And it says, what is the height? So we're going to be looking for H. So they should have given me the total surface area, perimeter, and area of the base, or at least enough information to find those things. So it looks like they did give me the total surface area. It is 142. Perimeter, I don't know. Height, that's what I'm going to be looking for. And base, I don't know. Let's see if they told me some information about the base. It says the base of the box, which it's a rectangular prism, so it's going to be a rectangle, measures three inches by seven inches. So there's my base, and now I have enough information to find the perimeter and the area of it. So the perimeter would be three plus seven plus three plus seven, which would be 20. And the base would be three times seven, which is 21. So now let's plug all of those things into the surface area formula and we can solve for H. So the total surface area was 142 square inches. The perimeter, I just found it was 20 times, I don't know what the height is, so I'm gonna leave it as H, plus two times the area of the base is 21. So I am solving this equation for H. The first thing I'm gonna do is simplify this two times 21, and I get 142 equals 20 H plus two times 21 is 42. And then this is just a two-step equation. The next thing I would do to solve for H is remove the constant, so I'd subtract 42, and I get 100 equals 20 H. And then the last thing I would do is divide by 20 and 100 divided by 20 is five. 
So that means the height of this box is five inches. Okay, let's look at number eight. It says a triangular prism has an has equilateral triangle bases with side lengths of nine centimeters each. I'm gonna go ahead and draw that out. I have an equilateral triangle. All of the sides are nine. That's the base. If the lateral surface area of the triangular prism, so that's gonna be S equals pH for the formula, is 216, what is the height of the prism? So again, I am looking for the height they told me that the surface area is 216. They didn't tell me the perimeter, but they told me about the base. So to find the perimeter, I would add those three sides together and nine plus nine plus nine is 27. So the perimeter is 27 times the height is what I'm looking for. And that's just a one step equation. The last thing I need to do to get H by itself is divide by 27 and 216 divided by 27 is eight. So the height of this prism would be eight centimeters.